24 of the game's most accomplished champions and emerging superstars joining together as the best of the best from the United States take on the top international players outside of Europe. Matt Kaminsky's our main man when it comes to President's Cup and he's been a wonderful contributor to the clubhouse. But this week, he's handed over the phone to somebody else. And you know it's getting close when the Senior Operations Manager for the PGA mm. Tour is in town, Marco. His name is Greg Carlson and he joins us on the clubhouse. How are you doing, Greg? Good. How are you guys? I'm doing really well, mate. Uh, a month out, you must be getting very excited. We are. Uh, I just got here on Tuesday and uh, been doing a, a look around and everything looks fantastic. And uh, yeah, you can tell things are, are hopping out here at Royal Melbourne. Hey, Greg, uh, it, we've had uh, a little bit of a cold uh, stretch through October, but the last couple of days here in Melbourne, it's warmed up. Uh, 28 degrees we had uh, on Wednesday um, and, uh, and also a hot one on Thursday as well. Have you noticed that the, the fairways are starting to thicken up? Last time I was there, they were coming good, but uh, I reckon just with a little bit of warm weather, it was going to be thickened up and the course will be looking magnificent. Yeah, I think from the from the drive around that I did, uh, the course is uh, yeah definitely starting to green up, and I think it's starting to get a little more lush. So yeah, I think we're tracking well on uh, course conditions and uh, everything else for that matter. Uh, you look after all the World Golf Championship events uh, in America, and uh, in fact, right around the world, you look after the WGC events. How does Royal Melbourne stack up against uh, some of the golf courses uh, those WGC events are played on? Well, I, I would. Stack it up against any of them. I, I think it's a fantastic layout, um, a unique opportunity for the players, and uh, I think they'll thoroughly enjoy it. So it, it'll be a, a great test for them and, and uh, exciting golf. Hey, uh, Greg, obviously you've been involved in 2007 and 2009 as well. How do you think this year's President's Cup is going to stack up to the previous two? Well, I, I think uh, the international team, I think, is going to put up a good fight. Um, it's been uh, a little bit of uh, a one-sided uh, match for the last uh, two President's Cups. But looking at the, the field and the teams, uh, the international team is really stacking up well. And uh, a lot of good, you know, up-and-coming young players like Rio. And, and uh, I think they'll give uh, the U.S. team a pretty good uh, pretty good match. Just on that, we obviously, uh, being American, know where your heart lies. But it would be beneficial for world golf if the international team was to come away with the win? Oh, absolutely. Um, I I think that uh, for international golf around the world in general, the the rise in uh, the amount of players, in, and again on the World Golf Championship side, you're starting to see more and more of uh, international influence uh, in those events as well. So this would be a, a great stepping stone, uh, you know, that the international team would win this event. We're speaking to Greg Carlson, the senior operations manager for the PGA Tour, who's out here uh, just casting his eye over the President's Cup setup. And what's really important, uh, Greg, uh, to all Australians, is that Royal Melbourne plays like Royal Melbourne. Now, you oversee uh, the way it is set up on, in, in America. Uh, we understand that the greens are sometimes a little bit softer than what they are at Royal and, and possibly a little bit slower. Our greatest fear, and Matt Kaminsky has tried his best to assure us it wouldn't happen, uh, is that uh, the course goes back to not so much American style, but somewhere in between where it is uh, when we play it uh, versus where it is when you play it. How, how is the course going to be set up? Um, that's not really, uh, my expertise. The rules officials will handle that. But, uh, as Matt would probably say, you know, the rules officials are going to set it up with, uh, the best intentions of creating it to be exciting. They want to see, uh, exciting shot making. They want to see birdies. They want to see eagles. They want to see drama. So it'll be set up that way. Um, and it'll be a good test for the players as well. And just uh, for everyone listening who's uh, maybe thinking about coming down from interstate or actually buying a ticket here in Melbourne, what do you think the viewing will be like at Royal Melbourne? I mean, I've, I used to play it all the time as a tournament golf course, and I used to love it as a tournament course. I can't say I've watched too much golf there. What, what do you think it's going to be like if people come in? Well, I think the way the build-out is and the amount of bleachers we have uh, and, and the flow of the golf course, it'll be uh, an exciting venue for, for watching. Um, a lot of amenities out here. Um, they'll treat you nice out here. So I think uh, it's definitely uh, a destination and uh, something that everyone should look into going. Greg, just before we let you go, and we do appreciate you joining us on the clubhouse, we always ask our guests, our guests who aren't professional golfers how they hit them off the stick. How do you go? I'm probably a, a 12 these days. I don't I don't play that much anymore just because uh, 
<laughs> usually uh, when uh, I'm not working, I get away from the golf course. So Yeah, that's what happens to everyone who gets into the golf, uh, Greg. Yeah. Uh, once you get into the golf business, you don't play any golf. That's exactly right. <laughs> that's probably the biggest misnomer as everyone thinks we play golf all the time, but <laughs> we don't. November 17 to November 20, President's Cup. You can get your tickets at uh, ticketmaster.com.au. It's going to be massive. We're excited and getting pumped up. No doubt you are as well. Greg Carlson, the uh, Senior Operations Manager for the PGA Tour. Good luck uh, for the President's Cup, and no doubt we'll cross paths again real soon. All right. Thanks, guys. History will be made at Royal Melbourne. Don't miss your chance to be a part of it.